Hello everyone, this is Priyanka here. Welcome to Simply Biology. Today we are going to start another topic that is turgidity. From the same plant physiology, let's see what is turgidity. A fully distant cell is known as turgid. This is a complete, a small cell. When water enters to the cell, it grows in size. This is called as a turgid cell. A fully distant cell is known as turgid. Condition of cell when fully distant is called as turgidity. This term is known as turgidity. The cell is called as a turgid cell and the condition is called as turgidity. The pressure exerted by the cell contents of a fully distant cell on the cell wall is known as turgid pressure. This is a fully distant cell. It starts pressuring the cell wall. This condition is called as turgid pressure. The cell distant wall, cell wall is called as Turgor pressure. The pressure exerted by the cell wall on the contents of the cell when the cell is fully distant is called as the wall pressure. Again this cell, the same cell, when it is full of filled with water, it exerts a pressure towards its wall. Wall. It is called as wall pressure. Here you can see an example. Here is a picture. You can see it is a plant that is turgid in turgid condition. Let's see some important points. Of turgidity. It maintains shape of soft plant tissues. It is also responsible for movements in plant like mimosa or we can say touch me not plant. Opening and closing of stomata is also because of turgidity. The next term to be discussed is the flaccidity. It is also a term introduced in the plant physiology Flaccidity. Flaccidity means what? When a cell is put into a hypertonic solution. Cell. We can say the hypertonic solution may be the salt solution or the sugar solution. Salt solution. It starts shrinking. Shrinking, the cell becomes like this. So, this is called the term as flaccidity. When a plant cell is placed in a hypertonic solution, it loses its ex by exosmosis. The water gets out from the cell. The cell contains shrinks and becomes floppy and becomes floppy. This term is called as flaccidity. Here you can see a difference between the flaccidity and turgidity while seeing this example. The difference between a flaccid plant and a turgid plant. Next term to be discussed is imbibation. Let me give you a small example. Imbibation. You have observed that wooden doors and windows usually stick to their frame during the rainy season. This happens because the absorption of water, absorption of water by the plant cells 
plant cells in their dry or semi-dry state. The condition is termed to be imbibation. The wooden doors in the rainy season get struck to their frame. This is an example of imbibation. Or you can see a picture over here, the germination. The seeds start germinating is an example of imbibation. After when the dry seed is put in the soil and uh, water is given to it, it slowly starts germinating and the seed starts getting into a plant. This process is mainly occurred because of the process called imbibation. The condition is termed as imbibation.